What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're gonna to be talking all about iOS 13, the next major version of iOS. We're gonna be talking about what kind of features we could possibly be seeing in this version, my personal wish list for features, as well as the release date and more. So of course iOS 11 was a big change from iOS 10, but iOS 12 wasn't such a big change in terms of features from iOS 11. iOS 12 was mainly just a performance and kind of just like a big bug fixing release, which isn't very typical of Apple to do, but it was definitely necessary, especially for the older devices like the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6. I actually made a video last year talking about how iOS 12 saved my iPhone 6, and it really did. So iOS 12 was definitely needed, but it's time now that we need some big new features in iOS. So Apple is expected to bring a lot of new features and UI changes to the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch with iOS 13. And we're all hoping that some of those new features are the ones that we've basically been asking for for years now. So before we get into my personal wish list and also some rumored features that could be coming with iOS 13, when can we expect to get our hands on iOS 13? So we're gonna be getting the first developer beta sometime within the first two weeks of June. That's when the WWDC conference happens every year, and that is usually when we get the very first beta of the next major release, which of course is going to be iOS 13 this year in 2019. Now, of course, I will let you know when the exact date of WWDC 2019 is, either in a video here on YouTube or over on Twitter, I'll post it on there. When the invites go out, that's when we're gonna know when the exact date of the conference is. And hopefully I get invited this year. I'm not really expecting it, but it would be awesome and an awesome surprise if Apple did invite me out to go to the conference because I would definitely go. So yeah, expect the first beta sometime within the first two weeks of June. Now, as for the actual public release, the final release of iOS 13, we can expect that a few months after the initial beta release, and that usually falls on the third week of September. So most likely either September 16th or the 17th here in 2019. And of course, as always, I will be comparing everything on iOS 13 to iOS 12 here on the channel to see how it stacks up. And of course, show you guys all the new features and all that good stuff. And Speaking of the features, let's talk about my personal wish list for features I would love to see included in iOS 13. And some of these are ones that I've been asking for for years now. And the first one, of course, would have to be a dark mode. Now, this is probably the most obvious and the most asked for feature in the history of iOS. I mean, we've been asking for a dark mode for so many years now and we don't even have one. I mean, we do have the smart invert, but that is not even close to a real dark mode. So I would love to see this. We could do it on Mac OS and I would just love to be able to do it on iOS now. Now, of course, we do have a true dark mode on jailbroken devices. And of course you do have a true dark mode in certain applications inside of iOS 12, but we don't have a real full system-wide dark mode yet. And I would love to see that in iOS 13, especially since we now have OLED displays on pretty much everybody's gonna have an OLED display in 2019 if you got a phone in 2018 or 2019. And aside from just being visually appealing, a dark mode would actually really help with battery life. It would really improve your battery life because if you have an OLED display, the black pixels are turned off, which means that it's gonna have better battery life. We're not gonna have to have those black pixels always on on our display, especially when the majority of our screen is black and the pixels are off. It's not gonna be really using that much power consumption so it's gonna be really nice for saving battery if we do in fact get a dark mode with iOS 13. So another thing I would like to see changed in iOS 13 is the whole phone call UI. So you guys should know the screen very well. Once you get an incoming call, you only have two options and sometimes it doesn't even show all this, but you either get accept or decline. I hate that because obviously if you don't wanna answer, you don't wanna hang up right away because maybe you don't want the person knowing that you saw their phone call and that you decided to just ignore it. I would love to see a way where you can basically just like minimize this UI. So maybe, maybe if we had like a tab at the top where we could just kind of minimize that and push it to the background and continue doing what we were doing while this phone call just rings in the background without having to ignore it. So I would love to see the whole phone call UI change in iOS 13 and maybe it just doesn't even take up the whole screen. Maybe it doesn't even have to do with minimizing. Maybe just like on jailbroken devices with the call bar tweak, maybe it just shows as a little window at the top or the bottom of the screen and then you can keep doing things on your screen while that phone call is showing up there in the top. And of course, what would an iOS features wishlist video be without asking to change the volume HUD. The volume HUD 
right smack in the middle is so annoying. Uh, obviously, we don't have this in YouTube anymore. The YouTube volume looks a lot better where it's just up in the top, but system wide, we still have that super ugly volume HUD and I cannot wait for Apple to eventually fix this. I know they're going to have to fix it because everybody has asked for that to be changed. So hopefully iOS 13 is where we have a very clean looking volume HUD that's not in the smack in the middle of the screen. Maybe it's just at the very top or on the side somewhere and where it looks very minimalistic and not so obvious and taking up so much real estate on the screen. Now, I would also like to see picture in picture like we have on the iPad. I would like to be able to see you know, maybe I'm watching a YouTube video and I want to go back and do something else to multitask. Maybe I can have that be a picture in picture video down here at the bottom and be able to move it around like you can on the iPad here on the iPhone. Because now with the iPhone XS Max, I mean, that's a 6.5 inch display. That's plenty of room to have picture in picture on. I mean, I know back in the day, it wouldn't really look that great because it was such a small display. But now with the size that iPhones are these days, I think picture in picture could definitely work for the better. And those are just four of my big iOS 13 wish list features. I do have a lot more and I will touch on those later on as I make more videos about iOS 13. But those are my four big ones that I would really like to see included in iOS 13. Now, there also have been some rumored iOS 13 features for a long time now. And that's thanks in part to Apple actually deciding to go performance focused with iOS 12, which of course in turn pushed some of the features back to 2019 and iOS 13. So according to Mark Gurman, iOS 13 will be iPad focused. Now, it's not to say that we're not going to have a ton of features for the iPhone as well, but it's seeming like like iOS 13 may be focusing heavily on the iPad. So in this tweet from May 2018, German says iOS 13 will have a big iPad focus feature upgrade as well, including an updated files app. Some other things in the works are tabs and apps like in Mac OS, same app side by side, Apple Pencil stuff, the home screen redesign is iPad focused. And in response to that tweet, somebody asked, was thinking more of the file system side of this new springboard equals opportunity for documents to live outside of apps but revamp makes sense as part of an ipad as productivity push too to which german replied with that's also something being worked on and then if you go further down somebody asked if the iphone will be getting any kind of springboard redesign to which german said simply yes so that is awesome to hear because it's possible that ios 13 will now be changing how the springboard looks which by the way the springboard is just the home screen this whole home screen layout you see right here with the grid icons and everything like that so maybe we won't have rows of icons anymore maybe we'll have some kind of different ui on the front face maybe the springboard will just be completely different in ios 13 or maybe just some of the icons maybe all the icons just won't be styled the way they are now maybe they won't have that flat look anymore i don't know there's a lot that apple could be doing with the springboard now i know a lot of people do want to be able to put widgets on the home screen like a big clock right there like you can on joe broken devices but i personally think that looks pretty tacky i don't think it looks very apple like i think it looks a lot like android phones and i just don't like the way that widgets on the home screen look again it just looks tacky looks out of place it doesn't look organized at all so thankfully i don't think apple is going to be adding widgets but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what they actually decide to do with the springboard with iOS 13. And recently, Mac Rumors and also 9to5Mac reported that devices running iOS 13 have been spotted in their analytics account. Basically, people on iOS 13 are surfing the web on Mac Rumors and 9to5Mac. So you can see here, they say, we first spotted devices running iOS 13 in October and in November and December. Visits from iPhones with iOS 13 installed have increased. Visits slowed down during late December, but should pick up again now that the holidays are over and work is continuing. Now to counter this, developer and security researcher Morpheus tweeted out, technically it's not really iOS 13 till the build number changes. If the string has version 12.0 and Safari is 604, then it's likely a build of iOS 12. You should filter for 17 addresses too. Anyone can fake a user agent. So it is unknown if Apple employees are actually testing a real version of iOS 13 or just a modified version of iOS 12. But of course, time will tell. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the iOS 13 rumors. Not really much as of right now, but they will begin picking up over the next few months. And of course, I will be making more videos when those rumors do start to be posted online. Again, expect iOS 13 beta 1 within the first two weeks of June and then the public release either on or around September 16th or the 17th. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 13 coverage. And of course, when iOS 13 does get released, the beta version, I will be running a lot of tests and showing you guys all of the new features. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.